Hey everyone, it's Chris again. Uh, guess what happened to me from working 18 hour days for four days straight? I got sick. <clears throat> and I've been, excuse me, I've been drinking orange juice and soup and taking my Mucinex. But uh, uh, I, I'll play through uh, a level real quick. Uh, let's see, on my other account, I redid how saves work, so I had to start over. I actually got through the entire game. Um, it took me three hours to beat the last level after some tweaking of items and enemies. So I think what I'm going to do uh, is, well, I've already done it, is I've added uh, more treasure chests in the game. So here's my other player. He can wave. Hello, everyone. Um, he's sitting next to me. He is me on another computer. And I'm sick, so I'm sorry if I sound silly. Uh, so I'll just run through real quick some of the feature changes from the original Xbox game. You notice at the bottom left there where my mouse is, um, the head is smaller. That's because it was kind of obnoxious before. And that tells you where the player is and when he moves around it'll, it'll update. <clears throat> so as you can see based on my gear I've, I've beaten the game. Uh, and now I'm going through a second time and everything's harder. Now I did increase... Um, you remember World 5? It's the one with the mud guys that shoot at you when they get hurt. And the big armadillo things that fire fireballs. It's like red in the background. <clears throat> that level used to never get harder after you beat it. Uh, you know, like on this level, it's harder the second when you go back through World 1 all the way up to World 4. But on World 5, because that used to be the end of the game, I never made it harder uh, after you beat it and you went on to World 6, the Elite World. So what I did was I didn't increase the enemy life because I felt like that probably didn't need to be tweaked too much. Uh, but, and, and I didn't like decrease your stats like I do here. If you look uh, bottom right there, I have 34 life, even though with this gear I have thousands of life. Um, so in World 5, all that happens is the enemies deal double damage. And it brings them up to the damage that is dealt in World 6, the elite world where you fight all the bosses and doubles. So World 5 now is no longer um, boring. It used to be so boring to go back to World 5 because there was no way for you to lose. Well, now with the double damage, you'll you'll blow through enemies uh, very, very easily, similar to the way I am now at this kind of level, uh, but you'll get hurt a lot if you get hit. So it, it makes it makes like the Mud Men so much more dangerous, uh, <clears throat> but you're not penalized too badly. Uh, while you go through it, so it, it's not as it's not as serious as oops wrong buttons. It's not as serious a penalty as I'm getting here playing World One. It <clears throat> it's just enough to keep the game interesting. I'm sorry, I have a cold. I I'm sorry for that noise. You know I've never fixed this. This wall right here has always been a impenetrable wall for some reason. It wasn't meant to be, and all it's going to take one little thing to fix. But I kind of like it because every time I see it. I'm reminded of that bug. Um, it was like the first bug I ever found in the game, and it's not—it's not impeding the game in any way. So I just—I leave it in there just to toy with people. So they're like, "Wait, why can't I go in there?" <clears throat> Let's put on some movement speed so I go faster. Haha, <laughs> flamethrower, suck it! I do want to test the flamethrower and see what happens at the end uh, against the boss. Because uh, the boss should prevent me from killing him to a point. Um, but yeah, I one the biggest thing I did is I made the game a little bit easier. It was too hard. Uh, the in the first time Looter Die was made and played, the reason people did well is because I carried them. Now I know some people did do pretty good on their own, but there were a lot of people that never would have finished the game. And I realized it was because there were parts um, in World 4, in World 5, and even World 6 where you, if you weren't good enough, you'd never get a treasure chest. If you couldn't fight your way through bad guys that were way more powerful than you uh, because you didn't have any gear yet when you transitioned to a new level, you were screwed. So what I did was I put uh, treasure chests very early on. You still have to fight one or two enemies, <clears throat> but... You literally could run past them and just pick up the treasure chest if you're not a good player. Just so you can get some loot and make the game a little bit easier. 
So I did do that, uh, I, and I felt it really helped because, honestly, it took me three hours to beat uh, the final level. And I know what I'm doing, and I'm, a, I'm pretty good at this game. I don't know many people better. And it took me three hours to farm the loot I needed to beat it. Uh, now, I got close a couple times, but the I increased the amount of damage that the final boss did, and it really made it so you had to be... Um, you had to be using items that either prevented damage or gave you a lot of health back or avoided damage, that kind of stuff. Like, you needed some way to compensate with that. You can't just dodge them. There's two of them, so it's really hard. Um, and I suck. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, I, what I did was I added, I think it's four treasure chests. Now, World 6 never had any treasure chests before. It used to be the only way you could get loot was to farm the first area where the two... The bosses of this world, level one, there's two of them, and they run back and forth, and they make rolly, orange rolly guys. Uh, that was the only way people would farm up levels. It was so funny. I used to be playing the game, and I'd, I'd get on at night, and I'd see all these people playing that board, just that one level. Uh, they would play it, and they would leave as soon as they killed the bosses. Uh, and that's exactly what I did uh, without treasure chests. But then I changed it so that every two levels in World 6, you get a treasure chest. And that really made it a lot better. I mean, the point is to get loot and have fun and have fun experimenting with different types of loot. If the only way to get items is to like farm in a boring way or have to somehow beat the final boss with bad gear, um, I don't think that's fun. So I changed that. So the first thing you're going to notice when you play Loot or Die is that it it's it's easier to get items. Now, the other thing I did is I made it that you have a um, it used to be a base 5% chance to get a, a legendary item. You know, one of these guys that have, like, uh, down here at the bottom left, it says Lifesteal. Uh, those kinds of items had a 5% chance. Um, and I looked at the code, and I was like, oh, my gosh, it's not 5 It's actually 4%. So I was like, that's too low. So that's the base, like, without, um, without any magic find, without any uh, magic find from leveling up without dying or your items. Uh, that was the base amount. So I was like, okay, that's too low. So I put it to 10. So it's possible to get 50% magic fine from your items, 10% base, which you can't change. It's always 10% base. Uh, <clears throat> and then you can get 25% uh, from leveling up without dying. Every time you die outside of PvP, you go back down to zero. So when you add it all up, it's, <clears throat> excuse me, it's 25, uh, plus 10 is 35, plus 50, is 85 so if you max out your magic find like if you want to go through earlier levels or brave world 6 with magic find you are brave if you do that you better have uh, upgraded items if you do that um, you'll have an insane amount of uh, magic find you'll basically be getting um, four out of five items will have legendary stats on them so that I, I assume most people won't do that but the increase to 10% from four was huge. I mean, it's more than double the legendaries you got when you played on the Xbox 360 without any kind of bonus. And because most people run around with very little magic find uh, because they die a lot, uh, especially when you're trying to go through the game and the first time you're getting murdered, um, that 10% boost is huge because that's the point of the game. The point of the game is to get the really good loot, the fun loot uh, that lets you experiment with different ways to play. It is so fun to combine gear and uh, different types of items together. Uh, that really is what makes the game fun. Otherwise, it's it's just did you get lucky or not? If you didn't get lucky, you lose. You know, and that's no fun. <clears throat> so, moving through, uh, part of the reason I'm doing this is I want to try and get some uh, rings. Now, believe it or not, I uh, I made it so the save file will persist persist. So all this work I've been doing, I've been working and playing for four days straight. All of it will actually count towards my character. Now, maybe I should delete my character. That's kind of unfair uh, if we go into PvP and I've already got all this stuff. So I'll probably just delete my save. But theoretically, I could just leave it all. All right, now I'm carrying this Mr. Cantoni23. Now, I should be able to do some damage to this guy, but I think the game will stop me from actually killing him. I should still be able to get him very low. Yeah, okay, so that's the most I can do. Um, so I'm going to let Mr. Cantoni23 die. Uh, and I just want to, I'm testing that too, see what happens when he dies during the boss fight. 
um, I want to make sure that he can uh, still get credit for the boss. So I'm going to move him now so that he will die. Because you can't, if one of the players near the boss, he won't start. So um, he going to die. Yep, he died. Okay, now I'm looking at his screen. It looks good. Uh, it's saying that he can uh, he can wait till I open the door or kill a, kill the boss, and then the game he'll be respawned. <clears throat> Let's kill this boss. Reduce my damage. Oh my goodness, he could have one shot me. Oh, oh, I might die. The, he did half my life with my armor on. That was insane. Please don't kill me. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize he could do that. I thought I was gonna be three shotable. Oh, that got scary there for. I thought I was gonna have to like uh, die or something. Just restart this video. Ugh. Nah, it would have showed me dying, and I would have cried, and I would have complained about the damn creator. Um, so I got a movement percent ring. I got a cooldown ring. And ooh, a lucky heal ring. That's one of the new stats that you can get. Let's see if I have any of the others. Oh, reload speed is new. It replaced attack speed. It works similarly, but is better than attack speed. And it was easier for me to calculate, so that's why I did it. Um, I don't think I have any of the other new ones. There's several new ones to get. One of them is the heart uh, bonus, which really improves the hearts that you get. All right, looks like this guy's back, and he did get credit. Yay, he got credit. Did he get steam? Oh, and he got the achievement. I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, crap, my steam display's not up. I hope my game's working right. Um, but yeah, uh, on my other account, I got the achievement unlocked. For uh, It's called Good Night, and it shows the slime knight dead. <clears throat> so let's, uh, let's leave his game. <clears throat> I'm just checking. I'm sorry, I should be narrating better. I'm checking to see that everybody leaves properly and that there are no issues. And then when I hit join here, that game should be gone. Good. Okay, good. It actually tried to find it just now, and it, it didn't. That's why it said failed to join. Uh, I, I mean, this is the first time I've worked with Steam, so things are a little different here. But let me just show you um, PvP real quick. <clears throat> I'm going on the other computer, and I'm joining. Oh, he joined right away. That's rare. Usually it takes about 10... Steam takes about 10 seconds uh, at most to join players together, even when they're already connected. There's some stuff going on in the background there with their networking code, and I can't actually make that any better. I, I could theoretically um, have them wait, you know, and... Oh my gosh, he's doing one damage. I could theoretically have the player wait until they get a response from someone else and then activate the game, but I just thought it was better to just let it happen. And then I'm going to turn around and shoot him. Boom! <laughs> um, he died. He dead. There are achievements for PvP. They're easy to get, though. It's it's one kill, like your first kill, and then three kills in a row without dying, so nothing intense. But Guys, I can't wait to have eight people running around playing this game again, but <clears throat> I'm sorry. I've been coughing and stuff. My throat's killing me so I'm gonna stop but games ready to go it's up there in steam steam heaven uh, waiting to be passed by the steam gods excuse me and uh, hopefully it'll be done it'll have trading cards and you know all that good stuff trading cards and uh, e emoticons and whatever else I can't think of right now because I'm tired and backgrounds and stuff um, I tried my best I'm not the best artist but not even a good artist Look, just look at this background. <laughs> but it's a fun game, and that's all that matters. Uh, that's how I sleep at night. But, all right, I'm going to sleep good tonight because I'm going to knock myself out with some uh, uh, Robitussin or something. But you guys have a good one. Good luck and have fun.